So, uh, welcome to the International Hellenic University and the School of Science and Technology. We are very excited today to be hosting a, a session, the first session, in a series of podcasts and interviews taking place this year. Uh, the goal of this attempt is to bring the general audience in close contact with young entrepreneurs, Greeks and also from abroad, people from the IT sector, people who have innovative ideas and want to share them with the general audience. So we're going to start today with uh, Kostas Vasiliou, the co-founder and chief PMO of Skooks.com, a new startup company in the field of e-learning and self-paced learning. Uh, Kostas has a BSc in Electronics Engineering and an MBA, and before he became an entrepreneur, he was working for a, a big IT company here in Thessaloniki. Kostas, we're really glad to have you here today with us. Thanks for your invitation. I'm really excited uh, to have this conversation. So, you and Lefteris Duanoglu, the other co-founder of Scoops.com, uh, you were working for a, a big IT, a big software company here in Thessaloniki when you decided to become entrepreneurs. And you decided to start working on a concept that you uh, came up with a few years ago. Uh, can you tell us a, a little bit, a few things about Scoops.com? Uh, what is the idea behind it? How was it conceived? And how is it uh, different? Uh, than other products, uh, other learning platforms? Well, this idea, uh, we came with this idea about four years ago. Uh, Lefteris, who is uh, the mind uh, behind this uh, concept, uh, came with this idea, came up with this idea uh, because mostly of his passion for, 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 for education. So we started back then to, to have all this uh, great brainstorming, uh, long conversations at nights, uh, when we realize that there are a lot of indications that we were on a brink, we are on a brink of a great disruption in the educational industry. So what is Scoops? Scoops is an academy for self-learners. Uh, learners can uh, attend online courses from a wide range of course providers and knowledge providers. Experts, on the other hand, training organizations, corporations, uh, or institutions like universities and colleges can create incredibly easy uh, online courses uh, and teach online. Mm -hmm. If they want to monetize, they have, they have just to set a price on this course. Use our, prom our integrated promotion tools and promote this course to, 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 to a whole community. Furthermore, Scooks uh, gives the ability to all these uh, experts and training organizations and universities to, to build, to create their own online academy within an open community like Scooks. So they can engage, universities can, universities can engage their audience and their students and recruit new ones. Corporations, on the other hand, can uh, uh, train their employers or their customers uh, from their online academy. Mm -hmm. They just set the rules, whether it's going to be private or public, uh, invite other instructors, uh, to join them uh, and give their employers uh, training programs or curriculums uh, to, to improve themselves. Scooks is uh, actually very different uh, from any other competitor in this market. Uh, Scooks is not just another course marketplace or just another online delivery platform online course delivery platform. We have created a product that adds great value with its features and with its business model um, to the whole learning process on one hand and to the whole teaching process on the other. Uh, now, could you tell us a few things about the business story uh, behind Scooks, focusing on the highlights of your overall experience so far? like how you made your first contacts in the United States, 
uh, where did you draw funds from, except from your own savings account, of course. <laughs> Moving a startup company to the US, from Greece to the US, is actually a challenge. Uh, take into account that uh, US is considered to be the mecca of technology, and either in companies as well. So you have to go a very hardcore path. Uh, building your network, creating a, a network of connections there, uh, it's very difficult. It's time consuming as well. Uh, you have to, to, to earn the trust, the key player's trust at first. So we actually started having uh, a single connection. Uh, in Austin, Texas, and gradually create our own network of uh, potential uh, clients, content providers, uh, business partners, and investors as well. We strongly believe that uh, it's not a fair trade behind all this venture. Hard work, big decisions, and great passion, as I said, on what you do. Uh, so, uh, some people in guessing people would say that uh, e-learning uh, is an old field, it's not a new thing. Uh, with too much competition, the markets are full of commercial and open source products, and uh, why did you decide to invest uh, all that time and money uh, and, and literally uh, change your lives, uh, turn your lives around, uh, investing on, uh, on an idea that has to do with uh, such a competitive market? Uh, the, the reason I'm asking this is because I think that, that there are many young graduates, uh, many young people uh, who have business ideas, but they are really afraid to start because they think that their idea has to be uh, super innovative or uh, uh, technologically sophisticated. Uh, so they hesitate and they don't make this big step like you did. There is no market without competition. Everything already exists, in my opinion, in terms of products and services. A big mistake that a lot of graduates and students make is that seeing all that giants, all these giants out there like Google or Facebook, uh, they try to, 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 to came up with great innovations in terms of technology mostly. Facebook haven't any innovation in terms of technology when uh, it started. Uh, Able, when uh, entered the market of mobile phones, this market was already crowded as well. So, today the innovation is about business, mostly about business business ideas. You can start with a great idea but with a poor technology and go down the road, mature it and uh, create something big to gradually improve, gradually improve what you're doing. After all, this is what uh, most companies uh, do. They start with a product and uh, they gradually upgrade it and improve it uh, to match the competition. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, how Google how Google started? They started with a simple, or not so simple, but a simple algorithm for for uh, academic publications trying to to run their impact factor and. Gradually, build this great search engine that uh, we are all dominates the market. Yes, yes. dominates the market. Exactly. Uh, now let me ask you this question: 
Uh, it's a rather general question. Technological innovation and entrepreneurship uh, have been popular buzzwords a uh, long time before the economic crisis. Uh, however, now it has been recognized that uh, they are the main tools for an economy to develop and to move forward uh, out of the situation uh, so that uh, new products are created, new jobs are created and so on. E also here at the International Hellenic University, we consider in innovation and uh, entrepreneurship uh, uh, two of our strategic uh, goals, uh, not only in terms of uh, classes and education for our students, but uh, we also encourage our students to take part in uh, competitions, to develop their business ideas and uh, start their own uh, businesses. Uh, my question is, what is your opinion? regarding the current situation in Greece, what, uh, the current condi conditions in Greece uh, with respect to innovation and entrepreneurship, and what is the role uh, in this landscape that uh, uh, various institutions play, like the universities, the banks, the government, uh, the business community? Well, yeah. first of all, what you are doing, we strongly believe that is very important at this time in Greece. Because if you want to build a, a, an ecosystem like, let's say, Silicon Valley, you need first to, to create the proper environment and the proper culture. It's not easy. Uh, but with small steps from all these various uh, key players, on our society, you can build gradually, you can create gradually this environment. But uh, the other thing I want to tell you is that in Greece we have to redefine innovation as well. Mm -hmm. What is innovation? As a term, we, we, we believe that innovation uh, is something about great uh, technology, has to do with great technology and uh, great business ideas. We strongly believe also that today, if you take a look what is happening out there, most innovations are about business ideas and how you scale your, your first idea to a big company. Take a look at uh, getaround.com. What is the innovation behind this concept? It's a new it's service. It's not technology. It's a new service rather than new technology. Exactly. It's just a peer-to-peer -peer website for car rental. And it has probably a great business model behind this great product. Uh, but he challenges actually the status quo of, of a huge market like Carrendo. Costas, thank you for being here with us today. It was a pleasure talking to you. Thanks guys. It's great. It was great to be here. And uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you'd like more information about Skooks, you can visit skooks.com. And if you would like more information about the International Hellenic University, you can visit ihu.edu.gr. Thank you for your time.